me a bad, yeah, I need a lag, yeah, we bout to turn up Hottest shit in the city, yo, who fucking with it, yeah, we bout to burn up Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up We bout to one, yeah, that's what you call a come up So, what's going on, Vontae, how you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good, so I see we got refresh her here today You know, that's the business that you got going on yeah. So, just tell me a little bit more about yourself and about refreshing, man So, what's going on, what's your, in your business? So, I'm Avanti, and I am from um, Hemingway, South Carolina, and I started this business called Refresher, and with Refresher, it's basically self-love, um, self-care within women, um, so it's mainly for women to remember to love on themselves a little bit more, just because women wear um, a lot of different hats, um, whether it's being a wife, a mother, like we carry a load because we're natural natural nurturers. Mm -hmm. So we carry a lot of loads. So I, sometimes I think we forget about ourselves. Yeah. So that's how, the, that's what Refresher is about. Okay. All right. So how did you get Refresher started? What made you get into doing it for helping out other women as far as self-love and, and other stuff with that? Okay. So um, the year 2017, I went through a situation where I was just completely depressed in a dark space. and. I started journaling and I also um, realized with journaling um, I was finding myself again and I know that a lot of women you know go through certain situations and I feel I felt like you know why not start a, a business where a lot of women can come together and be supportive and encourage one another um, in their situation okay so do you what all do you have as far as offerings like with doing that do you have like counseling that you do or you kind of just have like meetings that you do once a month or things that like what do you do as far as bringing women together on your end so i haven't expanded yet to like counseling service that is an option that i'm looking into um finding different counselors that i can you know be able to send um the girls that comes to my my events too so what i do currently i host events okay. um and i my year one, I hosted a retreat, um, my annual retreat. So I do a retreat every year, but year two, I did three events. Um, I did Love Yourself Brunch, and I did Mommy and Mommy and Me Brunch. Okay. So, okay. you know, the mothers was able to bring yeah. their daughters yeah, and, yeah. you know, have conversations. And then I also did my annual retreat as, as well. And my annual retreat is, um, is yearly, all-inclusive. And um, every year I try to pick a different place that we go okay, out okay. and go out of town. So with the retreats, like that's that's dope. Like I'm like, I gotta get in there. Right? So with the retreats, I know you said you know your first year you did one, second year you did three, and then now you got an annual. So like when y'all do the retreats, what all do y'all? I mean I don't want to. I know it's, it's for the women, but what all do you kind of do as far as like an outline? Like what are some of the things that women when they come? I know is it for them to relax and get away? Yes, that's what correct. all y'all do. So what we do is I have a personal chef okay. that, you know, cooks um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Um, also, I have a massage that comes and gives, like, you know, 15, 20-minute massages for the girls. Okay. Um, we also have therapy sessions while we're on the retreat. The retreat usually um, three days long. Yeah, okay. um, and I also, um, we have game night. So like we play different games so women can connect reconnect with yeah, themselves reconnect again. Myself, okay. again. So And so with the like with the um retreats or even with refresher, do you have to be invitation only or can any woman just reach out to me like, hey, you know, I know you got a retreat going on, I wanna be a part of it. Any woman can reach out. Any okay. woman can reach out. Um this retreat that I just had last October, I got about four or five women that I did not know. Okay. So I'm expanding. <laughs> so, so how's it going with that? Like, do you is it is it easier with the women you do know, or is it easier with the women that you don't know? Because I know I know sometimes women like y'all can have y'all can clash sometimes. Listen, like, is it, is it good though? Like, I've never had no women clash. Like, we cry together, we laugh together, we just have a ball together. Yeah. Like, I was actually surprised. Um, both retreats yeah. um, because everybody just came in with an open mind and they understood. Um, they will be a shoulder to cry on for another woman. Yeah. So I 
I was actually, you know, surprised that everything go as planned each time. Yeah, so like, it kind of shocked you. It's like, like a bonding. It's a bonding experience for yeah. women. So it's not no negative thing. Yeah. Like you have just like nothing but positive vibes. So it's motivation for you to keep doing what you're doing because it's like okay, it's actually going yeah. the way I wanted to go. So let me keep doing it. So yeah. So do you have any other retreats? Are you gonna do it multiple times a year? I know you say you did the mommy and me branch. Um, I'm gonna ask you about that too. But are you planning on doing multiple like? Like every season or every month or you going <laughs> Well the retreat that's the annual retreat takes a lot to yeah. put in, um, to be honest, because that's me catering to these women and also trying to give them, you know, their money worth. But I I do um, throw in events here and there, um sporadically. Okay. Um, like I said, the Love Yourself brunch and the Mommy and Me brunch. Um, so I will host little brunches here and there, but the and they retreat be, and itself. The correct ones, they be local or they be, they be uh, like you might go to Charlotte or Atlanta or um, the retreats. I know the retreats probably off somewhere, but like are the sporadic ones more close to home or? Um, well, both of the Love Yourself brunch and the um, Mommy and Me brunch, both was here in Greenville, but I am looking to you know, do Love Yourself Brunch in Himalay okay. or, you know, Murder Beach or something like that. Okay. Um, right now, I don't have a date yet, but be on tune. Um, Love Yourself Brunch 2.0 okay. will be happening soon. And the retreat will be happening again in She's going to have it next month. We're going to shoot it next month. We're going to get refreshed if she's next month. So check out. But now. the retreat is every October. <laughs> yeah, so every October. Every yeah. October. And it's um with retreat, is it like in a tropical area? Like y'all go to like an island or y'all go to Florida or y'all going up, y'all go wherever. Well, going to islands, or going... I'm trying to take it, you know, out the country. Okay, one you're year. Trying, you're I ain't get that yet, but <laughs> that's my goal. But um as of right now, my first one was in Myrtle Beach. Okay. Um, because that's the area that I'm from, so I started, you know, where I'm from. Um, and then um the second one was in Orlando, Florida. Okay, so you got so you, so, you, you, you got out there on the Orlando that night. That's two states <laughs> over now, so you, you got some love with that and one. And I had a full house, so okay. it was good. That's good, man. So y'all, so you had the, that's the one you had all the massage and the food, the shelf. Um, so the very first one I did have um, the massage um, person. I had one for the second one in yeah. Orlando. But because of COVID, he, oh. you know, he canceled last minute. But we okay. still was able to make it work. Okay. Um, but I always have a chef. Okay. So my chef, uh, he actually traveled from Raleigh. Ooh. My chef traveled from Raleigh to Orlando. I, see, I know you and had to drop some bread on that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Raleigh, yeah, it, it, okay. it was good. It was He's good it. So oh. I'm gonna book him again because okay. his food is definitely worth it. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta keep him on the team. He yeah. came all down, but that was good. So. As far as like with the brunches and stuff like that, I know you said you got the mommy and me. Mm -hmm. How did that go with the kids? Was that was that did it turn out pretty good for you? Yes, that was actually a full house as well. Okay. Um, to the point, it was no more seats. Really? <laughs> <laughs> was um, it overwhelmed with it, or was it, or was it, is it kind of like I mean, I know everything probably a little overwhelmed, but was it really worth it? What you like? No, it? it was definitely worth it, and I think every event I do is definitely worth it because yeah. um, at the end of the day, you change your life somewhere. Yeah. Whether you change one or ten, you're changing lives. Yeah. So, um, the mommy and me brunch, um, it was a good turnout, and I feel like the daughters they they really understood how to communicate with their yeah. mom because. Mom and daughters kind of clash oh, know, at a certain age. He's playing it hard. Know, you ain't got to tell me how to They start to clash at a certain age, so yeah. I think they were kind of understanding. Like um, the moms knew how to communicate better with the daughters, yeah. and the daughters know how to communicate better with the moms. Because okay. um, I know that people say, "Well, I'm the mom or I'm the parent," yeah. but we still have to listen and communicate with our kids in a certain type yeah, of way too. Yeah, we do. So. We do. We do. It worked out good. That's good. So you kind of help with that. You kind of help untangle all the communication mm -hmm. error and kind of bring it, bring it together. So that's, yeah. that's, that's dope. So, Thank you. So with that, um, are you having another one of those this year? I know you said you had the annual retreats in October, Dark, but do you plan on having a mommy and me retreat pretty soon? Uh, mommy and me brunch. Okay, uh, uh, I'm not sure about the mommy and me brunch because I have some other ideas that I kind of want to okay. touch in, like a girl's night in. Oh, girl's night in. Okay, okay. girl's night in. Like I said, love yourself. Uh, brunch 2.0 coming real soon. Okay. Um, so just be on the 
to look out for that. So I have different other ideas that I'm. Okay. Um, got a lot of acres on it. Got a lot of people hit you up. I know yeah. you. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> like the girls, some of the girls already hit me up. Like, when are you gonna drop the flyer for the retreat so I can go ahead and pay my deposit? Yeah, yeah. Because it's like limited spots. So once yeah. the spots go, they go. It's no, like, y'all heard that. So she booming. So y'all, if you see a post, you better get with her. You better <laughs> be there for long. I'm telling you. <laughs> so um, what other endeavors do you have a refresher besides retreats? Is there any products that you have? Was there any other promotion wise you doing as far as other business for women kind of putting them out there? You got anything else you got going with it? Um, well, I'm gonna, I will start putting myself out as not just a host for myself, but a host for other people that want to okay. that want to do events. Okay. Um, so I am looking to do, um, you know, host their events for them as okay. well. So okay. that's something I'm looking into. Okay. Um, but outside of that, um. No, just expanding. Like I said, I want to go nationwide with this. So that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. All right. So, as far as for refresher, is it anything or tips that you feel like you can give out as far as for the men, and any tips as far as like women that you feel like we can work on as far as what you learn from refresher with other women? Um, for women, I would say um, use your partner as help. Like you don't always have to, you know, be in control or carry the weight for you know just everything because we as women we just like to make sure everything is okay yeah you know what i'm saying so just lean on your partner for help or even asking for help from anybody because that's another thing we we lack we don't like to ask for help yeah. so um but for men i would say help around, help out <laughs> around the house <laughs> i would definitely say that or um not even that on, on communication basis yeah. i would say you communicate with your partner okay. um, because a lot of men they shut down yeah they yeah. shut down and you, they just think like down. you know what let me just keep what I gotta say in or whatever and I guess you don't want to make y'all leave more mad or man but I guess it's something we yeah just communication right just being able to communicate with your partner and letting them know how you feel um, letting them know how your day went so they know how to handle you you know okay so we just gotta we gotta yeah. communicate it ain't really gotta be verbally it can be it can be yeah. Just love languages. Mm -hmm. so just love languages, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, now you might be clean up. You ain't clean up, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, it could be whatever. Yes, okay. that's, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, and um, as far as like anything else that you feel like you done learned from just being like, what's something that you felt like you, you took home from other women that you just feel like, man, I need to look at that and, and reevaluate that. Or even, it's not even that. It's kind of like took as like a tip for yourself. Um, For me, I think it was just my patience. Cause I like I had lack patience yeah. just with people and just with anything. Yeah. Like I just lack patience. But um, that's one thing I did take home, like on on my retreats. Just like some of the women, how patient they are with yeah. their kids, their sp spouses, their loved ones. Um, that's that's one of the, probably one of my biggest takeaways. Okay. So just, just learn the patience and just have to take that home to learn. Mm -hmm. And any products, anything that you got coming out or anything that you're working on as far as that for women? Well, I did initially when I first started Refresher. Um, when God gave me this vision, it was legitly just, you know, getting women together. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, when you start a business and people in your ear, they were like, you got to make some profit somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I started um, doing um, body oils, um, bath salts, and um, rose water spray. Okay. And those were a good hit. But once I started doing it, I just felt like that wasn't part of my passion. Yeah. So my passion was legitly just, bringing women together, yeah. encouraging women. And even though, like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you don't make a profit. To me, I probably don't make a profit financially. Um, but, you know, I feel like I'm following my purpose. Yeah. So, and as long yeah, as you, you follow your purpose, right. As long as you follow your purpose, purpose, like, the money going to come. Yeah. And that's just that. Like, the money is going to come. Yeah. Um, people give donations. Yeah. People like, is it anything I can help out yeah, with? Yeah. So I got the biggest support system when it's time to plan these events. Yeah, so. and eventually you're gonna, like you said, you're gonna take it away. Y'all gonna be going on islands. You're gonna have a lot of women. Right. All that's gonna come in too with yes. that. It's gonna come into play. So, so just, as long as I'm following my purpose, I, like you said, I'm being fulfilled. Being and fulfilled, that's, yeah. And, that's gonna, and it's gonna, like you said, it's gonna come in. If what you're thinking like that, it's gonna, it's gonna work your way. Right. Cause a lot of people look for the money, but it's really sometimes it's about bigger following than that. passion. Right. Sometimes it's bigger you gotta than have that. a love for what you do. And if you do, man, it's gonna, it's gonna come to you. That is absolutely correct. That's dope, man. So, 
That being said, you know, if you don't mind, <laughs> give the people a minute of motivation and let them know, you know, as far as what they, this really the people, the women that want to, you know, that's going to listen in, like, give them some motivation of what you know that you should give them. Um, the best motivation I would say is find time for yourself, find like even if it's just uh five minutes a day to go sit in the bathroom and look in the mirror and say I'm beautiful or I'm I'm great or you know just anything encouraging about yourself um just find that just a second of your day to just you know be happy and be encouraging like encouraging it for yourself um and not look for others to make us happy or whatever the case may yeah. be so. I would definitely just say just focus on, you know, loving yourself, loving every part about you, um, shape, size, color, everything about you. Just love who God made you to be um, and live in that and walk in that and don't let nobody tell you no different. I heard that, ladies. Love yourself. Take time for yourself. You hear this woman. She does. <laughs> and if you need to, how can they reach out to you? What, how, what's the way? And also, we need to get a look at it. Show these folks your, your brand and who you are. So don't know who Refresh is. So it's Refresh Her. So as you can see, the H and -E, H E R is capitalized because it's for women. Yes. Um, these shirts you can purchase from me, um, and they are fifteen dollars. Um, you can follow me on IG, um, Instagram, at three underscores Refresh Her three underscores. And anything else like any and these are your photos for the business right here. Yes. Flowers. And mm -hmm. they get flowers. You get a personal card. Okay. Um and anytime you come to my retreat, you always leave with a, a goodie bag. And I'm not saying just like a little goodie bag. Like you get a hoodie, you get a shirt, you get cups, um you get a lot of stuff in your goodie bag. Cause I try to give women their money worth when coming to the retreat. Y'all, hey, so y'all heard that? Y'all get the goodie bags, you get some life lessons, y'all get to cry together. So, <laughs> y'all want to, and you need to reach out to my girl. She gonna get y'all right. And she got the retreat coming up. Y'all hit yes, up. It's October. Retreat is every October every year. Um, so just be looking out for me to drop that. And if you want to see reviews of the last two retreats, you can on my Instagram page. And you said that's three underscores. Refresh her three underscores. That is absolutely correct. Okay, dope. So yeah, so y'all check her out. And once again, y'all been keeping it real with me. Refresh her, Mrs. Avanti. And at the end of the day, man, y'all check us out this Tuesday. We're gonna be turning up, man. Y'all listen to us, man. And don't forget, tune in at six o'clock Tuesday. See y'all later. Bye. Just got me a bag. Yeah, I need a leg. Yeah, we about to turn up. How the shit in the city? Yo, who fucking with it? Yeah, we about to burn up. Wanna show a feature, we sell out the bitches, so please get your funds up We bout to one year, that's what you call a come up